Do you believe in aliens? Yo, what up? It's your boy B for fucking rude, man. And welcome to the safe on this beautiful Friday evening where I'm kicking it. And I know for a fendi fact that you guys are kicking it. If you're over the age of 21, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the content. If you're not over the age of 21, I'm going to ask politely that you just get the fuck off this page. Simple as that. Love you guys. No disrespect. But until you're over the age of 21, I want no part to you. On with the video. You are not alone. This video came at the perfect time. It's almost like God or the aliens, depending on what you believe, sent me this beautiful, beautiful video on a silver platter. The Pentagon released a video of actual UFO phenomena. I know, it's crazy. I'll put the link in the description. I think they put this video out four days ago. I believe the video was sent out on Monday to the entire public, right? So you know the UFO community um, was gonna go up in arms about this shit. I've seen this video before. It's not really a shock that, you know, I'm seeing it again. But I'm, I'm, I feel like there was a lot more compelling UFO footage than the one that they have. Let me just say that I could give a goddamn if the Pentagon released anything about UFOs. I'm believing UFOs and aliens regardless. Like this shirt says, at all costs, I want to believe. I don't know why I want to believe. I don't know why I care. I really don't. Pentagon released the video. I'm gonna put the link in the description. Make sure to look at the video. Just observe it. Because that's one of the weakest forms of evidence of a UFO. There is so much compelling evidence other than this video. This video is kind of laughable that they would put this one out considering the amount of other ones that they have anyway. So because the Pentagon released this beautiful piece of information, I couldn't think of a better time to open up the Area 41 Alien Labs brand new 100% live resin disposable pen. I know that was a lot. The Alien Labs 100% live resin Area 41 live resin. And I got this on 420. And I've been waiting for the right time to just post a video. And guess what? Ladies and gentlemen, that time is now. Make sure you're over the age of 21. Let's go on this wild ride. The labs were coming in at 65.81% THC, 0.20% CBD. This was packaged 318 2020, manufactured 310. I remember seeing these all over. Instagram, they were like the brand new hype of the weed community, so I just wanted to be a part of it. Couldn't think of a better day than 420 to grab it. Couldn't think of a better day to review it than right now, right here with you guys. Let's get it going. Whoa. So I ripped the box out and the fucking pod comes flying out. That's just my luck, by the way. You have no idea. Here we are. Damn, it already got scuffed up because it hit the ground. Here it is. I gotta try to figure out how to turn this light down so you guys can see a little bit better. Nope, that's it. Boom. Alien Labs, Area 41. There's the little guy. Don't you just love that dude? Can't really see the live resin because it's a little dark. Wow, look at that. Brand new Alien Labs disposable pens. I saw these and I went ape shit because I love Alien Labs. I love that little fucking guy more than anything. Fuck Alien Labs. That's my dude. I'm riding for him no matter what. No matter what. This is the fucking homie. And I'm gonna name him something. Yeah. This guy is something else. 
I don't know what I'm gonna name them yet. Give me some time. Anyway, back to the video. I was very excited to try this out. Very excited. And I'm very excited to hit it. I almost don't want to hit it. But I got to hit it because we're already six minutes in. So thanks for just sticking with your boy. I understand that my videos be all over the place. So let's get it. And then we'll get more into the, we'll deep dive into the alien UFO phenomenon, paranormal, whatever. Let's get it. Salute you. shot right out of there can't really tell because the light wow now I wonder these are a couple things I was wondering before I deep dive into the alien talk is this a friendly farms collab or is alien labs and connected doing their own thing now I'm curious I'm very I'm very I'm wondering about that because friendly farms was the, the people that collaborated they collaborated with Alien Labs and connected. So I'm curious if this is Alien Labs going their own route or if this is Friendly Farms and I don't know their packaging. I don't know. <coughs> but that thing tastes fine. <coughs> Fire. Wow. That is beautiful. But you know what? All live resin has that distinct taste. Don't mind the sweat beads coming down my face. I look like a crackhead when I'm smoking pot. So let's deep dive into this a little bit more. Like I said before, I'm big on anything paranormal. Anything Bigfoot, aliens, ghosts, demons. Only thing I don't believe in is the Loch Ness Monster. Get the fuck out of here. Do I look stupid? The Loch Ness Monster. How do you expect um, an, a dinosaur, right, to exist in a lake since the dawn of fucking time and the fuckers never ran out of food? <clears throat> Bigfoot is a little bit more realistic than the Loch Ness Monster. I'd say Bigfoot is a little bit more realistic than aliens. Doesn't it seem, it seems like it's possible that there's one 10 foot tall hairy motherfucker out there in the woods of Washington just going ape shit. Doesn't that seem a little bit more realistic than a Martian coming from the planet Gerana Plopis in Sector 5-2? What the So I'm filming in my backyard and I just heard something brush up against this gate. I don't know if you guys heard that. Something sounded like it just brushed up against this fucking gate. And that scared the shit out of me just now. Either somebody's fucking with me or this Alien 41 is getting in my head. Anyway, let me wrap this shit the fuck up because now I'm getting scared. I think this Alien 41 got me fucked up right now. Whoa. Salute you. Yo, there's a bunch of raccoons and shit back here too, bro. So, I ain't, <coughs> I ain't fucking with no. I'm not fucking with no raccoon. You got me fucked up. Raccoons have thumbs. If a raccoon decided to put its fucking duke, dukes up, it could. I'm not fucking with no raccoon. 
No. <coughs> this is pricey. This was like $50, $60 for a hat. And I'm taking blinkers. I only do blinkers. Yo, there's something weird going on out here, bro. 